this layer, the ink layer, and the white paint layer um, that I'm seeing me painting digitally at the moment, they don't transfer terribly well and I, I have to touch them up with markers and Posca pens towards the end. Um, but I also didn't um, catch them on camera, which is a bit of a pity, so I'm missing the end of the process here with some bonus footage of me cutting out masks and other interesting stuff. Uh, the, the the ink layer and this white paint layer, they, um, you know, you can you can see them, and they just weren't super clear. But the the half tone layer and the text layers really didn't come out terribly well at all in the transfer. And uh, maybe I was I was just making this one too complex. Yeah, you can see that I'm doing it digitally at the moment. And I was trying something different with these two layers here. And I'm putting in um, uh, darks on, on the body, uh, the, the face and the arms, and, and light lights into the backgrounds here. Uh, and maybe it was it was just too complex. Anyway, uh, this is the this is the gel plate print process here, and you can see me uh, cutting out the masks here, and. This is the final one. Um, these, so maybe I got a bit over ambitious. You can you can see the process here. It's it's much the same as the others. Um, just this one didn't transfer as well, and um, I had to had to use some markers and some some Posca pens there towards the end. But I didn't. The, the first one I did, uh, I was super unhappy with the the outcome and I had to redo that one. Um, I didn't feel this was bad enough to need redoing. So, um, yeah, and, the, and some of the others needed some, uh, some extra definition on the line art as well. Uh, not all of it, I didn't. I didn't feel I need to emphasise all of it, but yeah, the, the, this, this print process isn't a perfect print process, and I quite like that. Um, it's one of the things that attracted me to it. one other mess up that I had on this one which is when I was putting the white ink on to transfer this background and um, it pulled up some of the paint that I'd already put down and I think that maybe the, the paint was a bit too thick uh, and uh, it just pulled it up it hadn't happened to me before uh, I'm not too worried about it um, I had this thing before where the, the, the paint cracked when it was quite thick and I, I, I liked that texture but yeah that um, I didn't expect that paint to pull up um, but yeah I kept it in and, and yeah you, you can see me inking up here for these for the half tone um, layer and this failed um, it didn't really pull very nicely uh, the detail didn't come out uh, 
but not too bad. All, all in all, most of these, most of these things that you get during this, the printing process, you can still get a pretty good print out um, at the end of it. I don't mind things like, um, you know, texture in the print or misalignment. I think it makes it interesting. Uh, if you're after something perfect, it's perhaps not the uh, the right thing to be uh, looking at. But yeah, enjoy the rest of the process. Um, well, the stuff that is here, and thank you for watching. Thank you.